What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the M915A1 again and let's check out what's going on. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. So bear with me for a minute and we'll get a quick rundown of what today's project is. So let's see if I can remember all this. So the facts are is we got six of these tires, four on that side, two on this side. These two are garbage. I'm going to take that one and put it here. So that way on the front axle we got all the same tires. That leaves us two left for the back. So what I'm going to do is take the two good ones, these two, and they are going to go on the outside. I got these two right here that I got in the old Orange International when I bought it. And they're still in pretty decent shape. I mean, they're a little checked, but for drive tires, they're, they're beautiful. So these two are going to go on the inside duals on the back axle. And I have these two on this axle that are virtually brand new. This axle with the tires came off the Orange International when I did the engine swap. The only problem is, is they're on hub piloted rims and they need the rims need to be changed. Over to these stud piloted rims. So that means I got to break these tires down and break them tires down that are on the axle and switch them out. I'm not going to put these back on them rims because they're junk anyway. These would probably barely pass inspection and you know what? Just change them and I won't have to worry about it. So theoretically, on paper, I should have just as many lug nuts as I need because a lot of the lug nuts on this are broken and the studs are bent. But if you can see that backhoe unit down there, I'm going to pull some studs off of that and theoretically I should have everything I need to swap these tires out without spending any money. Hope. Let's get to it. Now let's see if we can get this thing to start without pulling the batteries out of the International again. Between this battery and my junk jump pack. See, it even says junk on it. Time to give it some persuasion since we only have one battery. I guess she's not going to have it, so... All right, now that we got three batteries in here and we're down a little bit more work than we anticipated on, let's see if it'll start now.
I tell you what, these wheels absolutely suck, these style. I don't know why these things even existed in the 80s still. These things are just garbage. Anyway, I found something pretty exciting. Not so exciting for my checkbook, but check this out. Check this slop shaft out when I move this wheel. And so thinking I was going to get out of this without spending any money was wishful thinking. So this is the broken stud I took out of the truck. This is the stud that's in the backhoe thing that's in the bottom of the yard. I just popped out and as you can see they're not even close. So I'm going to have to try to find one of these at a store and see what I can figure out. But on a good note, look at the brakes on this thing finger for example well there's a wear line right there so I mean that these brakes are brand new and the drums are in really good shape I mean they're a little rough but they're not there's not a big lip here like there usually is so that'll save me quite a few hundred dollars this wheel seals not leaking so far actually yeah now we can really see that that U joint in here is wasted There we go. With any luck, the army truck at the junkyard that I've been pulling the rest of the parts off, that U-joint will be good on that. What I'm not going to do is pull tires off of that truck at the junkyard just for lug nuts. I'll go buy them from a store. I'm not that cheap. So here's the infamous truck at the junkyard. I keep pulling the parts off for mine. Same engine, same truck, pretty much. I bought the one that looked to be in better shape. Hopefully I made the right choice. Yeah, those are the U-joints we're after right there. Just make sure they're still good, I guess. Yeah, this one's got quite a few more battle scars to it. Of course, somebody already pulled the turbo off and stuff and just left everything opened up. Nice brand new 400 Cummins going to get all ruined. If I was smart, I'd just buy the whole truck.
So today's Thursday and I can't get these studs that are broke until Monday. So just gonna throw this inner wheel on for now without the brake drum and work on the rest. I ordered plenty extra studs that way, since they're so far out, I can get them when I need them. And if anybody's going through the same problem I am, these are actually somewhat hard to find. So there is the Meritor number for these, R008983. The R means right side, the L means left side, because these are different threads on each side. And the stud that came out of the truck is W1322. And it's the same thing, R right, L left. So that'll help anybody out great. Okay, so this is as far as I'm gonna get with this for now. As you can see, so this is a 22.5. 5 
And this is a 20 inch tube style split rim, a lock ring rim. And you can see if we step back here, they're pretty much the same size. The inner one's just a little bit taller, but not enough to worry about. It's a pretty good rule of thumb for people who don't know. A 20 inch rim is the same as a 22.5 height wise. And a 22 inch rim is the same as a 24.5. So they're at least close enough to where you can run you know, a tubeless and a tube type together, as long as you still got the 11 or 12 or 10 or nine, whatever your first number is, is the same. So the next thing to do is I'm going to take these junk tires off of these rims and go get the other ones off of the axle and then put them on these rims. That way I don't have to pull both of these off. This tire is actually still good too. But the tires down there are a different size, so I can't run them both. I'm gonna have to take both from the axle. The better part is, is these rims here look like they're better than the front ones anyway, so it'll look a little better. And remember guys, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, do me and yourself a big favor and hit that subscribe button because it's really going to help me get this truck done and haul its first load of dirt. And if you don't know what's going on, watch the past couple videos of this and you'll see that I'm putting a dump box on the back of this truck eventually after I get all this other little stuff done. And this is what I think of automatic transmissions.
I did the blaster tank on this one three times and just barely seats it. So I'm gonna do the old ether trick. All right, guys, so we are back from the junkyard and we didn't really score that big, but we got a couple cool things. So the U-joints and the jack shaft of the truck in there are just as bad as the ones in my truck. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to order new ones and pay full price, which it is what it is. That's fine. Um, but let's check out what I did score. So I did score the exhaust hanger that hangs these bolt on the transmission bell housing i scored of course it's too late now but they were laying on the ground so i figured i'd grab them anyway the air tank hold down in case i ever need them and i got two of the exhaust cab hangers these actually uh the stack hangs on these and then right here bolts on to the, the cab and the reason I want to do that is because in case I ever decide to put dual stacks on that truck, I'll have some for the other side. And also these were laying on there because somebody took the turbo off of that truck and these rubber boots for the intakes on trucks are usually pretty expensive and I got this whole pile of stuff for 30 bucks. So I did order my studs and lug nuts to finish up the wheels and we will catch up when those come in. And meanwhile, make sure you do exactly this. Check out my YouTube channel. Curtis Gleba, check out my YouTube channel. And do me a big favor and do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out and makes you not miss one thing that I do to this truck because it's going to be an exciting adventure, and we'll see you all next time. Take care.